So once you've opened up the mouth.flat.blend file, um, first thing you've got to do is actually enable the lip syncing um, add-on. So go into user preferences and go to install from file, select, go to the location where you exported the, or where you saved the um, Python file from the previous link. Um, IO import lip sync importer install from file. Um, if I now go lip, I've already got mine enabled. Um, it is the 0.5.3 version. I do have the 5.1 version, but I might as well keep it to um, up to date. Save user settings. Now, in the 3D panel on the left, under the T panel, scroll to the bottom. And now let's open up our .dat file. So I'm going to go into my Vampire Diaries. I'm actually going to be doing Simon's voice. So I'm going to go Simon dat dot dat, double click. I am just going to go plot. I'm going to make sure I've got the, the lip selected, plot keys to the timeline. And so now I've got all the keys. He doesn't have a lot of lines. Now I'm just going to kind of um, zoom on this a little bit. What I'm going to press now is it kind of goes up and down. And if we kind of watch it, it like does a real weird fade and it does um, like flickers. We don't want that. So I'm going to press A, A to select everything. I'm going to press T and we're going to change the interpolation to constant. <coughs> and so this is what we've got. Now the rest is a funny key value. First one is we're going to select this bottom one and we're going to delete that keyframe. So now we've kind of got a mouth. And now this is the time consuming bit. I'm going to right click G and just move it over, move the first one over. And so now we've got rest and it goes into talking. Um, I'm going to, I always touch the bottom one, G and move it over. So it overlaps with the next point. Now, one thing I could probably do is so we kind of get an idea about what's going on. So I'm just going to add sound, Vampire Diaries, uh, Simon Wave, and let's turn on caching. Let's turn on draw wave farm. So I know that we're here. So let's have a listen to it. Ah, what's wrong with the Lord of the Town? So that's what we've kind of got so now this is a bit of a laborious bit so i'm just going to work on okay. just this little bit so bottom frame now the rest pose is an interesting pose i don't know why it's so funky but move um the rest pose to the next point and then select that um second peak and delete that keyframe and now what we do is we kind of just um, line everything up. So right click G and we're moving it over. And so we're just kind of like filling all the gaps because let's be, right, shush. Let's just turn that add marker. Where is it? Down here, playback. Let's turn off audio scrubbing. So kind of you would see where there's a gap. So for instance, there's no line up the top here. So that's a gap. That's a letter. And then we've got a gap on this frame and this frame and so on and so forth. So what we're doing is we're just kind of filling in those gaps. Um, this one, this one. And so this is quite laborious, um, but you don't really have to think too hard. Um, it's a lot quicker than doing it the other way. So now we've got the rest pose and obviously he's got a line over here. I'm going to move that one G on the X, <coughs> excuse me. And let's move it all the way over. Select that one, delete keyframe. Do, 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 do. And that one 
that one. So yeah. However, it's much quicker than doing it the other way. Obviously it's not as accurate, but that's just what we're um, getting. So that's the last bit there. I'm gonna press delete on that one. And now, so he's got like a rest position of a mouth. Mind you, this is Simon. Simon has a beard. And what I've done is characters that have a beard don't have a mouth when their mouth isn't moving. So I can select all this and I'm just going to delete that keyframe. No, I'm not. I select that one, delete. I deleted everything. Not what I wanted. Okay, let's turn all them off. Delete. Let's turn all these back on. Now, the reason why that one's all the way up is because I set it. So let's put that down and let's have a look what we got. Uh, what's wrong with the Lord of the Town? Uh, I'm sure you're mistaken. He's missing a line. Right there. I knew there was one more bit where he goes, uh, shall we, shall we knock? I put on the wrong voice when I recorded this. And you can see, you can get kind of pretty quick at it. And I think we'll just finish off that one like that. Shall we knock? Done. Control S, save. And let's just change the group name to mouth rig. Simon, shift S. Okay, now let's go into the next section about applying this to the characters.